Hey everyone, we're going to do some quick chem and we're going to look at a combustion reaction today. Combustions are tough because oxygen can often be an odd number which will throw off your balancing and if you don't know what to expect it can be confusing. So I wanted to look at this in particular and I'm going to show you a method that a colleague of mine showed me. Uh, so we're going to make our list of atoms on both sides. We have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Remember if hydrogen goes in, water generally comes out. Now in my reactants, I've got three carbons. For hydrogens, I've got eight plus two is 10 and one oxygen. And in my products, we have one carbon, we've got two hydrogens and oxygen. Uh, in our products, we've got three, two in my carbon dioxide and one in my water. Now, I used to do a whole thing where you'd balance a bunch and then you'd find the coefficient for oxygen and slide it in and double everything, and that was just a lot. So I'm gonna use my colleague's method, which when you have a combustion reaction, it can be helpful to just go ahead and double your carbon compound. Start by doubling that, because that gives you an even number of oxygens now. Um, this works well if you have more than one carbon. Like if you just have a methane, a CH4 plus oxygen, that's pretty simple. But as soon as you have more than one carbon, go ahead and double this as just a strategy. Remember, combustions all have oxygen in them. You're going to see O2 as a reactant. So we're going to double this, and that gives me six carbons. Two times eight is 16 hydrogens. And then I've got two times one plus two is four four oxygens now. And from here on out, it can be pretty straightforward. So if we do our carbons, I'm going to start with that. I've got six in my reactants and only one in my product. So I'm going to put a six here. So that gives me six carbons here. And I'm going to update my oxygen now. Six times two is 12 plus one is 13. Hydrogen now, I've got two times eight is 16. So in my products here, I've got two. So I got to put an eight in front of that guy and that gives me 16 hydrogens. Now count your oxygens carefully. Two times six is 12, plus eight is 20 oxygens. If I come back over to my products, we need 20, I know that. I'm gonna subtract out the oxygen I already have in my, um, in my methane, right? So we're gonna say I've got 20, I want to take two of them out because I don't want to change, uh, not my methane, this is propanol. I don't want to change this carbon compound anymore, so I'm going to subtract two, and I need to get 18 total oxygens. So if we come up here to oxygen, I can put a nine in front, and that will change. I've got nine times two is 18, plus two gives me 20, and now everything is done. This is a balanced chemical equation. So if you've got a multiple carbon reactant, you can double it, and that makes getting this odd number oxygen a little bit easier after you balance everything out. Thanks for watching. Hope that is a helpful tip. Remember, if you need other help or have other questions, you can leave comments. I'd be happy to follow up with new videos.